Let's learn how to boot up the Raspberry Pi. Inside this case has our single board computer called a Raspberry Pi, which is this credit card sized single board computer that's able to plug into a computer monitor and it uses a keyboard and mouse. It's a very capable little device. People of all ages explore computing and learn how to program in languages like Scratch and Python. It's capable of doing everything you might use a desktop computer to use, from browsing the internet to playing video, to making spreadsheets, word processing, and playing games. When we're working with them, we're never gonna be working with them fully out of the case because we don't want any of the parts to break. So we're gonna be working on it inside of this case, but we can take the top off of the Raspberry Pi like so, and we can get to all the good stuff that we need. Now you might notice that your cases are slightly different, but they both do the same thing. This one just has the ability to plug a fan into it. Um, they're both from Amazon and they're great and they protect the Raspberry Pi. So how do we connect this to our monitor? First thing we're gonna do is we're going to pop the top of the case off over here so we can see the inside for which either case we have. I'm gonna work with this one. So find the side with these four ports over here and I'm gonna go over all of them. The first one is this oval shaped port which is a USB type C port which is what's gonna allow us to power the Raspberry Pi on. On the side of all of the computers, I have zip tied nice and neat uh, the four cords that you're gonna need to use. So you'll notice that every computer has these cords. So find the one that looks like it's going to fit this port over here, and that's gonna be our power cord. So this nice oval shaped port over here, this is our USB-C type port, and you'll notice that there is this little switch that's attached to it. That switch is what we're gonna allow to be pressed to turn it on or off. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take this cord, the USB type C, we're gonna plug it into the Raspberry Pi like so. And one thing you should take note of is when this button is not pushed in all the way, it is off. When it is kind of a little bit wider, it is on. So that is considered off, that is considered on. You'll be able to see a little light over here if it is powered on. You should see both the red and the green light. If it is off, you should see neither light. So off, on, off, you can see over here. So we have now by clicking this power switch over here, powered on the Raspberry Pi, and yet we still see nothing. So on to the next step. These two ports over here, you'll notice, are HDMI ports, specifically micro HDMI ports because they're a small version of it, whereas a larger HDMI cord looks like this. So HDMI stands for High Definition Multimedia Interface, and it's allowing you to transmit high quality video and audio between devices. So while this is on with our power cord, which we have, we are going to now plug in our micro HDMI cord over here into either of the two micro HDMI ports over here. After we plug the micro HDMI cord in, we'll notice that nothing's happened yet. So down below our computer, we have this PUA HDMI USB switch. So this is gonna switch between PC one and PC number two. PC number one is the desktop over here. And when we click this button to switch, that is gonna switch to PC number two, which is the Raspberry Pi. So go ahead and click the switch. Notice PC number one is still on if I switch back but we can click the switch to look over and see that we are now on the Raspberry Pi computer. You might, however, notice that your mouse is not working on the Raspberry Pi computer, and that's because we need to plug in another cord in order to have the mouse talk to the Raspberry Pi. Next, we have this USB cord over here, the regular USB, which is connected to the back of this silver switch. So we're gonna take this cord and we're gonna plug this into one of the USB slots in the Raspberry Pi. And by plugging this in, we have our mouse now able to work. If it's not working, that means that one of the things in the back here, one of these five cords are loose. This one on the right hand side is the other end of this cable over here. So you wanna make sure that this cord over here is fully plugged in. The wireless combo, make sure your wireless receiver is in this switcher. For a wired mouse, make sure that the wires are in the switcher over here. So unplug them from the computer and plug them in the front of the switch. By the way, USB stands for Universal Serial Bus, which is the industry standard that establishes cables, connectors, and protocols for connection, communication, and power supply between parts and the computer. 
basically it connects the computer to the parts and it allows it access to have power. And communication, whereas when I click a button, it's able to respond. These devices are considered peripherals, which is basically stuff that helps a computer run but is not needed. I can unplug this mouse and keyboard and the computer would still be running. In fact, over here, I have the HDMI for video and the power cord plugged in, but even when I click the switch, I don't have access to this mouse and keyboard. So the peripheral is not plugged in, even though the computer is still running. You'll notice that there are four ports. Two of them are blue, those are faster, and two of them are not. All four of them work, and you can use any of these USB universal serial buses to connect. Now, you also might remember this cord over here, the power cord, was a universal serial bus. It's just type C because this USB is a different shape than the other one, which is this shape over here. So on the Raspberry Pi, you should notice in the top left, there's a little menu bar where there's a Raspberry with a drop-down menu. If you go to the menu and you go to internet and you go to the Chromium web browser, we click that and what we'll find is we don't currently have access to the internet when this appears. It will say that we're not connected over here if I try to go to a website. So like if I clicked Schoology over here, it would say no internet. This over here is the wireless chip which allows it to have access to Wi-Fi, which we'll notice on the top right does have the ability to access Wi-Fi, but the problem is the White Plains District Network Consortium is a 5G network, and this receiver can only handle a 2.5. So we are gonna use this cord over here to allow us to have access to the internet. This is called an ethernet cord, and it's gonna get plugged into this ethernet port right here. When you plug this in, you should hear it snap and you should see the lights light up over here, and that means you now have access to the internet. So if I were to click over here, refresh again, I am now gonna have access to the internet, just like this. And now this little device is gonna be able to do everything your normal desktop tower can do, but what we are gonna be using this for are these pins right here called General Purpose Input Output Pins, GPIO pins. They will allow us to interact with this computer using code. For example, this Raspberry Pi is hooked up to this little LED light, and when I click the power and I turn this on, the little LED light turns on. If I turn the power off, the light turns off. Right now, that is simply turning on because it's connected to these general purpose pins but we can also program that to do certain things. Whereas we could write a program where this button over here will control that little LED light. So when I click the button, it turns on. When I click it again, it turns off. Now my question that I leave you to think about is this blue cord or potentially a different color. This one is gray, this one's black. How does it give you access to the internet? Well, if you follow this blue cord, it's connect to one of these buses which is connected to one of these boxes, which runs into the wall up through the ceiling, connected to the router over here, which gives you wireless access to the internet, Wi-Fi, which is a 5G router, which is why this silver chip over here can't get on it. But where does it go from there? And how can I click this button and make all the other computers in the room change? How are they connected? Welcome to the great big world of computers, computing, and the great beyond. Just kidding, false end. Remember, when you're done, make sure you click the power switch to power this off and do that before, make sure it's off, before you unplug all the other cables over here. And keep in mind that your audio video port over here, if you have the headphones plugged into here, you need to plug your headphones into the Raspberry Pi in order to hear it because this Peripheral needs to get plugged physically into the Raspberry Pi in order to do that. And in order to hear, click on this volume over here with a right click, which will open up the sound settings and make sure it's on AV jack because AV is the name of this port. And by default, it's usually on HDMI. So you won't be able to hear if it's not on AV jack. Okay, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video.